In this lesson, we're going to look at how to use the chi-squared test, a statistical test. A chi-squared test looks for an association or difference. For example, a researcher might want to see if there's an association between gender and studying or pro-social behaviour in the sixth form study area at school. Here's a table with some data. Pro-social behaviour means behaviours that are positive in the study area. Here is the formula for the chi-squared test. Let's look at each bit in turn. Do you know what the symbol sigma means? The symbol sigma means the sum of. O in the equation refers to the frequencies observed. In the case of the data I've already shown you, this just means the actual number of males or females studying or engaging in pro-social behaviour in the sixth form study area. E is the expected frequencies. And these are the frequencies you would expect if there was no association between gender and studying in the sixth form area. If you work out the expected frequencies by doing the row total times the column total divided by the overall total. So let's work out the expected frequencies for males engaged in studying or pro-social behaviours. The expected value is going to be the row total times the column total divided by the overall total. So for males studying or engaged in pro-social behaviours, the row total is 29 if you look across. And if you look down for male studying, the column total is 25. And the overall total of people in the study is 50. So the expected frequency is going to be 29 times 25 divided by 50, which equals 14.5. Now work out the expected frequencies for males who are not studying or engaged in antisocial behaviours. The expected value is going to be the row total times the column total divided by the overall total. And the row total is 21, if you look across, and the column total is 25, and the overall total is 50. So this works out as 10.5. Pause here to calculate this for females studying and for females not studying. A table can be used to help work out the overall chi-squared, which is sum of observed value minus expected values squared divided by expected value. So first work out observed value minus expected value, O minus E, then square it, then divide by E, then calculate the sum of these values. So here's a table for you to fill in. Pause here and have a go yourself. Here's the table with all the values filled in. And you can see that the overall chi-squared is 6.65. And that's the sum of each O minus E squared divided by E. So now I want you to look up the critical value in the critical values table. In order to do this, you need to know degrees of freedom. And that's worked out by rows minus one times columns minus one. There are two rows of data because we have males and females. And there are two columns of data because we have studying versus not studying. So the degrees of freedom is going to be 2 minus 1, because that's rows minus 1. And the columns minus 1 is also going to be 2 minus 1. So it's 2 minus 1 times 2 minus 1, which is 1 times 1, which equals 1. So the degrees of freedom is 1. Now we need to look at the correct level of significance. Psychologists prefer to use the significance level, P is less than or equal to 0.05, to judge whether to accept a hypothesis or not. This means that there's a 5% or less probability that the results are due to chance. For example, if we carried out our observation on a different day, 
or at a different time, there's a less than 5% probability that the difference between the two groups could have been due to chance or random differences between the groups. In order to find out if the observed value of 6.65 is significant or not, it must be compared to the critical value. So that's why you need to find the correct critical value in a critical values table for chi-square. Now look up the critical value in the critical values table for degrees of freedom equals one and level of significance for a two-tailed test equals 0.05, because this is the level of significance that we want, 0.05. We're doing it for a two-tailed test because we had a two-tailed hypothesis at the beginning of the study. We weren't sure whether there was going to be a difference between males and females in terms of studying or not studying in the sixth form area. So we had a two-tailed hypothesis. So if we look at the table for a two-tailed test at 0.05 and degrees of freedom 1, the critical value is 3.84. Pause here to look at this carefully. So the critical value is 3.84. For a chi-squared test, the observed value has to be bigger than the critical value for the results to be significant. As the observed value of 6.65 is bigger than the critical value of 3.84, the result is significant, and more males study or engage in pro-social behaviour in the sick form area than females, well at least for this set of data.